Hello, my name is Kevin, and welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie. Tonight, I am taking a little bit of a break from animated movies. I've watched animated movies the last three times, and I'm going back to live action. I am watching Unforgiven. Um, I'm going for this uh, pretty blind. I don't really know that much about this. I know it's Clint Eastwood. I'm pretty sure that he's a cowboy. I mean, he usually is a cowboy. And uh, I know this movie won a couple of Oscars, including Best Picture, so I'm sure it's probably a good movie. Other than that, I don't really know anything about this, so I'm excited. I have seen a couple of other things with Clint Eastwood in it. I've seen, uh, what have I seen? I saw Dirty Harry. Um, I saw Million Dollar Baby. Um, blah, 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 blah. What else is there? The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. That one's pretty famous. I've seen that one. And uh, I saw American Sniper, which he uh, which he directed. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. Anyway, um, thank you again for joining me. Um, this is still a pretty new channel, so if you can give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, every little bit helps with uh, you know getting known, getting recognized by the YouTube algorithm. Um, so every little bit helps, and every little bit I appreciate very very much. So, without further ado, let's get started. Unforgiven. Unforgiven for what? She was a comely young woman and not without prospects. Therefore, it was heartbreaking for her mother that she would enter into marriage with William Money, a known thief, thief and murderer, a man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition. When she died, it was not at his hands as her mother might have expected, but of smallpox. That was 1878. Poor woman. Big Whiskey, Wyoming, 1880. So two years later. Oh. No, please, oh, please. Damn it! Oh, put that freaking knife down. What the hell is wrong with you, man? you think it's funny? Oh. oh. Okay. Gun to his head. Cowboy. Poor woman. All she done when she seen he had a teensy little pecker is give a giggle, that's all. He's trying to kill her over it? What the hell's wrong with you? A whipping? That's all they get after what they done? Whipping ain't no little thing, Alice. But what they done, they can Alice. talk about more than- I'm with her. And I got a contract that represents an investment of capital. Property. Damage. Freaking indenture is what it is. Nobody's gonna pay good money for a cut up whore. Fuck you, all the way to hell. You did the cutting. Come to the thaw, you bring in five ponies and you give them over to Skinny here. You bring in two. You give them over, you hear? Yes, sir. Maybe we don't need this whip now. You ain't even gonna whip them? Yeah, you really well, should at least do that. For what they done, Skinny get some ponies and that's it? What does a girl get? A girl who got freaking attacked. You know, they were just hardworking boys that was foolish. If they was given over to wickedness in a regular way, I'd understand. Right. Of course. Alice? Dude, this is pissing me off so far. I got $85. If Delilah doesn't care one way or the other, what are we all getting so riled up about? Just because we let them smelly fools ride us like horses don't mean we gotta let them brand us like horses. I got $112. 240 That's 437 so far. Oh, oh. We'll see. It ain't enough. Not yet, maybe. I like her so much. Yeah. You don't look like no rootin', tootin', son of a bitch and cold blooded assassin. My guess is you're calling yourself Mr. William Money. Ah, hey, oh, there he is. That's quite the fuck is You're the one who killed William Martin, robbed that train over there, sir. We'll talk inside. Uncle Pete says he was the meanest goddamn son of a bitch alive. And if I ever wanted a partner for a killer, you were the worst one. In various people, most people who are killers don't. I'm a damn killer myself. No, you ain't. Except that uh, I ain't killed as many as you. Schofield Kid, that's what they call me. How about being my partner? I'm gonna kill a couple of no good cowboys. For what? For cutting up a lady. I cut up her face. I cut her eyes out. I cut her ears off. How weird is this? Walk into someone's home and say, Hey man, you wanna go kill someone with me? 500 apiece. I can't move those damn pigs! Watch your cussing now, will you? Do the best you can with it and go to the pump and get yourself cleaned up. I ain't like that anymore, kid. It's whiskey done, mustard. 
much as anything else. I ain't had a drop in over 10 years. My wife, she cured me of that. Cured me of drink and wickedness. Good for you, man. Get sober. She's passed on. Of course, dead wife. Of course, you had to fridge her. I mean, that's sad, obviously. But, you know, it's kind of an overdone show. Don't tell no one. Well, if you used to change your mind, might be you could catch me. I'll be riding due west of the Western Trail, heading north into Wyoming. Come on, let's separate those hogs. It's all in his face. Dude, you can't just go off to Wyoming. Who's gonna watch your kids? That must be awful. Like, every time you look in the mirror, I mean, you're reminded of the horrible attack that you experienced. Get him! Oh, now, here's the beauty. This here one ain't yours. <laughs> Good, yeah. This here pony. I brung for the lady, the one my partner caught. Oh, wait, they were throwing mud, not rock. That's the lock. Better than the ones I gave him. She ain't got no face left. You're gonna give her a goddamn mangy pony? She ain't mangy, man. Get out of here! I mean, I can sort of appreciate what he was trying to do, but, like, it's, you know, not really... Doesn't feel like it's compensation enough or something. Not that you could compensate for or something like that. The intent behind it was good. Delivery, you know, not something. Oh, he's missing. Do Pa used to kill folks? One of those wife's grave. Claudia Feathers money. Aged 12. 29? Well, you take care of your sister now, my son. I'm just gonna leave any problem. You go see Sally Two Trees at Ned Logan's. Oh. oh man, he's taking a lot of falls this movie. In my youth before I met your dear departed Ma, I used to be weak and given a mistreating animals. How do you train the horse to be so uncooperative? Your ma, rest her soul, showed me the error of my ways. I'll be back in a couple weeks. Do you remember how the spirit of your dear departed ma watches over you? I really hope nothing happens to the kids. It's just because, you know, being left alone like that. I hope no, no one hurts them. We ain't got any money! You told them cowboys you had! He was lying! What are you gonna do when somebody comes to collect? I hope this guy fucking dies. The kind of people who come after that thousand will tolerate you not having it! Wait, so is there no reward for killing the two guys? So they set the bounty for them, right? What do you think of her? I heard you done the roof yourself. Yeah, I did practically the whole damn thing myself. Yeah, I'm building a porch here so I can sit in the evening and smoke my pipe and watch the sunset. Sounds nice. Well, oh, them whores. They're paying a thousand dollars to whatever son of a bitch kills the two boys that cut up Delilah. You sure those whores got all that money? They could have squirreled away that much to five of them. Hey, is that Gene Hackman? I'm just noticing. Well, well, gotta go. I like your house. He seems nervous all of a sudden. Made a hasty exit there. Uh... That's Morgan Freeman. He's in this movie. I wish I had seen Morgan Freeman. Come on in the house. I'd son. Ned, Sally. Ned and Sally. Okay. Does Will like need the money? Or something? They cut up a woman. Cut up her face. Cut her eyes out. Guess they got it coming. Claudia was alive. You wouldn't be doing this. I suppose you'd mind looking in on my youngsters next week. How long do you reckon you're gonna be? Two weeks, I guess. You leave, me, you leave your kids alone for two freaking weeks? How old are they, like six or something? Three ways. So you still have that Spencer rifle, huh? And I can still knock your eye out of a bird flying, too. So he's gonna do it. Let's go kill some abusers. I wanna say goodbye to your wife, man. I wanna learn to ride a horse at some point. We'll come across him tomorrow, I reckon. I mean, I rode a horse when I was like 10 or something once, but I didn't like it. I want to try again. Kind of get used to my bed. Bed ain't the only thing I'm gonna be missing, I tell you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll fret it. She don't like it, my stashy. You riding off with me. Gave me the evil eye. I mean, you guys are going off to you kill us. She just ain't allowing that it changed. Claudia, she straightened me up. Cleared me of drinking whiskey and all. Just because we're going on this killing, that don't mean I'm gonna go back to being the way I was. Just need the money. Get a new start for them youngsters. Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth? I think about him now and again. He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. At least nothing I could remember when I sobered up. I ain't like that no more. You keep saying that. That's right. I'm not sure that's true, though. I'm just a fella now. I ain't no different than 
anyone else no more. What son of a bitch shot him is all? Was it one of them John Bulls? Oh, President Garfield. Oh, no, this country should select a uh, king or even a queen rather than a president. One isn't that quick to shoot a king or a queen. But they died just as easily. This dude here is English Bob. He's the one who works with the railroad shooting Chinamen. There's a lot of players on the chessboard here. Figure out, like, who am I rooting for or not? Who do I hate? Let's shoot some pheasant. Ten shots. I'll shoot for the queen and you for whomever. <laughs> That's eight for me in one field. Pretty damn good shooting for a John Bull. Well, no doubt your aim what was affected by your grief over the injury to your president. You know, it's a savage country, really. That's the second one they shot in 20 years. I like this dude either. The local ordinance obliges you to surrender all sidearms to the proper authorities for the duration of your visit. Neither my companion nor I carry firearms on our person. We rely upon the goodwill of our fellow man and the forbearance of reptiles. Dude, he plainly saw the pistol you were carrying. Unarm my ass. Where's little Bill for Christ's sake? Build this damn porch. That guy's missing an arm. You know, he don't have a straight angle in that whole goddamn porch. He is the worst damn carpenter. Seemed like he was scared. I've never seen him up against any like these ones. Killers. So those two guys, the two Brits, they uh, really make well, these guys nervous. Serious, boys. He just ain't no carpenter. Well, there's a dignity and royalty, a majesty, which precludes the likelihood of assassination. Wait a second, sure, that's Richard Harris. A president. Why not shoot the president? There's something wrong with that guy. I think a cup of tea would... Hello, Bob. Been a long time, Bob. You run out of Chinamen? Old friends? Old enemies? Well, I thought that you were dead. Well, I even thought I was dead. Until I found out it was just that I was in Nebraska. <laughs> Who's your friend? W.W. W. Beauchamp. Beauchamp. This is little Bill Daggett. You work for the railroads too, Mr. Beauchamp? No, I write letters. And books, Bill. He's my biographer. It's a funny book. Well, I guess that means you boys can read. You saw the signs outside of town there saying, surrender your firearms. You're not armed, are you, Bob? A uh, peacemaker. But that wouldn't worry you, would it? I'm afraid so, Bob. You don't like firearms around. It's a very tense situation. You got four guns on him right now, so. Be very careful with this You don't want to, like, pat him down, make sure he doesn't right. have anything else? See what kind of books Mr. Beauchamp is packing here. All he's got here is writing stuff in. In this here book. Duke of Death. The Duck of Death. Duck of Death. Duke. Duck. <laughs> I'll have that 32, Bob. Of course he has another gun. Dude. Don't be stupid. You will leave me at the mercy of my enemies. You've been talking about the Queen again? On Independence Day? <laughs> oh, crap. What I'm doing is this part. You hear? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, dude, you, you made your point. <laughs> All those villains! Ah! Down in Cheyenne! I'm telling them there ain't no horse gold! Even if there was, thought they wouldn't want to come looking for it! Ah! Anyhow! Dude, you're kicking him in the face, dude. I mean, okay. What are y'all looking at? Go on, get out here! Okay, that was just unnecessarily violent. Is he like the sheriff or something? Like, what is his title in this town? Probably the sheriff. I mean, you just kicked an old man in the middle of the street. You ever go into town? I mean, get yourself a woman or something. No. Only one of a man like me could get is one he'd have to pay for. It. That ain't right, by the flesh. Claudia, you rest your soul, would never want me doing something like that. Me being a father in law. You just use your hand? <laughs> I don't miss it all that much. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, damn, he's just falling down all the time, huh? Damn, somebody's shooting at us. Yeah. Shooting wheel wheel? Shooting at us again. Are you gonna run out of bullets at some point? Well, he's shooting up the whole horizon, Will. Hey, kid, it's me, Will Money. What the hell's the kid shooting at us for? Who in the hell you got with you, Will? We never talk about no other fella. Better there's three of us in case they got friends. I figure I can take care of them two cowboys myself. Ned's an awful good shot with a rifle. You can have bird in the eye flying. Better than you anyhow, kid. Hell, you wasn't even coming close. Get your damn hands off my rifle, mister. Hmm. Alright, dick measuring contest here. Thought I'd check it for you. What, you going back with him? 
Well, he's my partner. You don't go, oh, I don't go. What's it come to three ways? Divide a thousand by three, dumb fuck. Three set, it's 333. So far, I'm really not liking anyone here so far, except for, like, the woman. Like, they're the only, like, actually good, like, righteous people here. These guys are all just doing it for the money. Shit. What the hell are you pissing on about? Wow, kid. We got a storm riding up our ass. Hell, I seen them. It's a weird kid. Feels like he's got, like, a stick up his butt or something. See that hawk up there? I could hit that hawk with one shot. Hell, I could hit it too, Ned. If I didn't mind wasting a shot. There ain't no hawk, kid. You can't see for shit, can you? See your canteen? Wasting water at that point. We ain't going to Wyoming to shoot canteens, goddammit. Can you see that scrub oak yonder? Fuck you, Ned. He's blind, Will. I ain't blind, you asshole! Dude, come on. How far can you see, kid? 50 yards? I can see well enough to shoot this son of a bitch right here in front of me. A little whole canteen of water is a proof of point. Now let's move out. Did you really have to shoot the freaking canteen? Like, come on. Oh, that looks like real hard cases, Bob. Now that is you there. You know, Bob on the cover? The Duck of Death? The Duke. Duke, Duke of Death. You always were a hell and Jesus with a pistol, Bob. But seven of them, boy. How, how the hell do you do that? It's generally considered desirable in the publishing business to take a certain liberty when you're depicting the uh, the cover scene in this here book the writing is not that much different than the picture the events that are described in there are taken from the account of eyewitnesses sir you mean like the duck himself i guess the duke duck i says you have insulted the honor of this beautiful woman corker you must apologize he reached for his pistols but the duck was faster and hot a lad blazed from his smoking six guns there is a certain poetry to the language which i couldn't resist i was in the blue bottle saloon the night that english bob killed corky corcoran corky never carried two guns he was called two gun barker that wasn't because he was sporting two pistols because he had a dick that was so big it was longer than the barrel on that walker colt that he carried and the only insult TMI. he ever did was stick that thing of his into this French lady that English Bob here was kind of sweet on. He went for his gun in such a hurry, shot his own damn toe off. Meantime, Bob here, and he squeezes off another. But he misses. The duck of death is as good as dead. And bam! The Walker Colt blew up in his hand. You see, if old Corky had had two guns, and instead of just a big dick, he would have been there right to the end to defend himself. English Bob killed him when he didn't even have him. Well, old Bob wasn't going to wait for Corky to grow a new hand. He just walked over there real slow because he was drunk. Shot him right through the liver. Cold. Are they sleeping under a tree while it's lightning? A business up in Jackson County. Two deputies up close pointing their rifles right at you. You pulled out your pistol and blew them both to hell. Oh, Pete says he never seen nothing like it. Shooting your way out of a scrape like that. Well, I don't recollect. Say, Ned, how many men you killed? Dude, he's trying to fucking sleep. To you. Well, I gotta know what kind of fellow I'm riding. How many men you killed, kid? Five. Serial killer. Still in the crowd, Mexican. Mr. Corcoran was faster on the draw than the in English Bob. Faster. Faster was his mistake. A man who will keep his head. Like as not, he'll kill you. If the other fellow is quicker and fires first, then he'll, he'll be hurrying and he'll miss. That's about as fast as I can draw and aim and hit anything. But if he doesn't miss, then he'll kill you. That's why there's so few dangerous men around like old Bob, like me. It ain't so easy to shoot a man anyhow. Take that. Go on, take it. There's the key. All you gotta do is shoot me. And you and Bob can just ride on out of here free as birds. Quite a gamble he's taking here. First you got to cock it. I can't tell if this is reckless or kind of crazy what he's doing here. Go on, point it. What are you doing, man? Now all you gotta do is pull the trigger, mister. Hot, ain't it? <laughs> what if, what if I gave it to him? Give it to him. But you, don't, you don't really want me to give it to him. Okay, he's gotta have like some kind of ace up his sleeve, right? He's ballsy, but he's not stupid, right? It's not really loaded, is it? Or something. I'm nervous about this. Oh, God. I guess he don't want it, Mr. Beauchamp. That was tense. Oh my God, it really was loaded. You're right not to take it, Bob. That would've killed you. We could use some rain, Mr. Beauchamp. Drawing this along for when we have to kill them fellas. We could, we could use some now. Not me, I don't touch it no more. Oh, come on. Will, it's raining. I know it's raining. Get some of the kid, why don't you? You think that kid really killed five men? No. 
I don't think so either. When he was talking back there about the time them deputies had to drop on you, and I remember there was three men you shot, Will, not two. Well, I ain't like that no more, Dad. Loose old Bob's cuffs as soon as he's outside the county. If I see you again, I'm just going to start shooting and figure it's self-defense. I didn't steal your biographer. He's staying on his own account. A plague on you. A plague on the whole stinking lot of you. It's no wonder you won't emigrate to America. Because they wouldn't have you in England. You're a lot of savages. That's what you all are. A bunch of bloody savages. Fuck you, man. Wait a second. He just, like, walk out of there? After what little Bill done to that Englishman. Well, maybe if you'd cover up your face, somebody might want to hump with you. Get a veil. Fuck you all the way to hell, man. I hope they kill him. Right there, Will. It's Bill asking for you, Alice. Must be Randy as hell to come out in this ship. Oh, no, you won't, Bill. Oh, Bill, please. Oh, God, please don't kill me, Bill. Yeah, this guy's not a good carpenter, is she? Well, uh, they don't have any more receptacles. Maybe you should just hang the carpenter. <laughs> what? Three fellas just come into town, Bill. At least two of them got guns. Jesus, Will. You look like shit. You remember Eagle? Had a shot. I saw. Will is dead. Oh, I saw him, Ned. His head was all broke open. You could see inside of it. Is he have like a PTSD flashback? Don't take a drink. I'm gonna go up and see what's keeping the kid. Look, if I was to uh, take a little time for myself, huh? I don't suppose you would be. Dude. I guess you wouldn't want to come. You guys cheat on your wife, man? Morgan Freeman, you're disappointing me. No, don't drink, man. Don't drink it. Don't, don't do it, man. Come on, man. Be strong. Give me the pistol, mister. I guess you didn't see the sign with, with the weather and all. No. I ain't armed. What about your friends upstairs there? They ain't armed either. What's your name? William Hendershot. Well, Mr. William Hendershot, what if I was to say you was a no good son of a bitch and you'd shoot me dead? Isn't that so? Very tense. Maybe, yeah, I guess. Get out. Snakes and such. Ain't loaded. You see, Mr. Beauchamp? This is the kind of trash I can get off. What is it with you and kicking people on the face? Dude? Stop kicking everybody, man. Hurry up. You missed the pie and you ain't gonna find it. Oh. Ooh. What about Will? Let's hope the horses are still there. You guys just went and got some while Will was getting a beating? Look the man out, W.W. Desiring to leave the hospitality of Big Whiskey behind him. Damn right. Oh. The bill just gotta work. Dude! They just come for the billiards, little Bill, honest. You just kicked the shit out of an innocent man. Innocent in what? Somehow managed to get on his horse. Jesus, Ned. You done this before? Plenty of times. His pistol must have jammed. Oh, he's sewing him up. He wouldn't have took no beating like that if he hadn't a chance. He didn't even pull his pistol, huh? You gotta go. I'm near ready for another advance. You're gonna use it all up before you can get it. No more advances on what you ain't done yet. Once this weather clears up, we're gonna need more food. About three days worth. Yeah, we could kill him tomorrow. I don't kill nobody without him. He ain't nothing but a broken down pig farmer. Fuck you, man. I said you did. I seen the angel of death. I'm scared of dying. Easy, partner. I see Claudia, too. Her face was all covered with worms. I'm, I'm dying. But for real, is he really dying? Don't tell my kids. None of the things I did. I thought she was an angel. Some big fella he kicked the hell out of me. Yeah, he least kicking people. I must look kind of like you now. No offense, but you got to be the one those cowboys cut up. How long have I been here? Three days. Are you hungry or... Three days? I, I ought to be. Thought I was dying for sure. Are you really gonna kill them cowboys? Still a payment coming, in there? Them other two? They've been taking advances on the payment. Free ones? Alice and Silky been giving them free ones. So they give them sex for free. Would you like a free one? No, dude, come on. I guess not. I didn't mean with me. Alice and Silky would be happy to give you a free one if you wanted. And w what I said the other day about you looking like me, that ain't true. You ain't ugly like me. It's just that we both got scars. You're a beautiful woman, and if I was to want a, a free one, I'd want it with you, I guess. This is a weird conversation. Maybe don't have it. <laughs> just that I, I can't on account of my wife. Is she back in Kansas? 
Yeah, she's watching over my young one. Jesus, fella. Better finish him, Ned. Get behind them rocks, David boy! He ain't killed? What, what's going on? Dude, Chuck. He gets in those rocks, we ain't gonna get him. What rocks? Why don't you shoot? Dude. What's going on, Ned? Shut up. Well, ain't you gonna shoot? Dude, shut the hell up. I ain't very good with one of these. Oof. Got him to the gut, I think. You think we killed him? Yeah. I'm dying, boys! I think you shouldn't have cut up no woman, you asshole! Jesus, I'm so thirsty. Give him a drink of water, god damn it. You ain't gonna shoot! No. Oh, man. Davey! You murdered bastards! You killed our Davey boy! At least they don't take any pleasure in it. I'm heading on back down to Kansas. You know, you're gonna lose your share, Ned. Shut up. I'll look in on your younger. Hey, Ned, I'll bring your share. It's full of shit. Yeah, I can just tell that Ned is just tired of it all, you know? Parson said how he's seen three men headed out east. I didn't think they'd really do it. That kid, he's just a boy, and Will, the nice one, being so true to his wife and all. He ain't got no wife. Not above ground, anyways. Okay, this other guy they're trying to kill, he's the guy who looks like... Really <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah. Don't put them out of people's faces and, you know. We got one! Come across this son of a bitch on a roll, <laughs> heading south. Wait, so did they, did they capture Ned? Were they about to capture Ned? It's another sheriff is hunting them. Probably glad to hear the names and whereabouts of those murder son of bitches. Please don't kill Ned. You think he's still in there? He's in there. You ain't gonna shoot him your own self, are you? You can shoot him. Ah, oh, no. Dude. Yeah, of course, they don't have a problem whipping the black man. Oh, no. Oh. Go and get them whores while fuck these boys in the night of the storm. When their lies ain't the same as your lies. Well, I ain't gonna hurt no woman, but I'm gonna hurt you. Not gentle like before, but bad. Yeah, this guy is not a good man. At all. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Go get him, he's all yours. You gonna do shoot him while he's taking a crap? Or this kid won't be able to do it, because he's not really a killer. Crap. Oh, damn it. Assassins! Oh! Can't do it, can <laughs> Oh, okay, he really did. Get out of there, quick. I'm surprised they made it out of there. Did you get him? Yeah. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Was that what it was like in the old days, Will? Bullets whizzing by? I guess so. I thought they was gonna get us. I was even scared a little. Was you ever scared in them days? I can't remember. I was drunk most of the time. I shot that fucker three times. Dude. First shot, I got him right in the chest. That was the first one. First one I ever killed. I knew it. You know how I said I shot five men? It, it weren't true. Uh, well, you sure killed the hell out of that fella today. Start crying good, yeah. Shows you're not a fucking monster. Take a drink, kid. You've been doing nothing but drinking, dude, okay? You don't need to encourage him further. Jesus Christ. That's good. Right. That's the correct response. It don't seem real. I ain't gonna never breathe again, ever. It's a hell of a thing, killing a man. You take away all he's got, and all he's ever gonna have. That's a good line. That's a good quote right there. Well, I guess they had it coming. We all have it coming, kid. Want to help me count this stuff, kid? I trust you, Will. Well, don't go trusting me too much. We'll give Ned his share together. Ned's share? He's dead. Fuck you guys. They, they killed him. I, I thought you knew that. Why would anybody kill Ned? Who killed him? Little Bill. He was making him answer questions and beating him up, and then Ned just died. They got a sign on him, says he was a killer. They got a sign on him? In front of Greeley's. First, Ned wouldn't say nothing. And then little Bill hurt him so bad, he said who you was. He said how you was really William Money out of Missouri. No, he's taking a and drink. Same William Money that dynamited the Rock Island and Pacific in 69, killing women and children and all. And Ned said he'd done a lot worse than that. Give me your skull for you. He's gonna go kill little Bill now, isn't he? You go on, keep it. I'm never gonna use it again. I, I ain't like you, Will. I hope not. You better ride on back, miss. 
Go on, keep it. All of it. It's yours. You don't have to worry, kid. I ain't gonna kill you. You're the only friend I got. It might happen. Ned's half to my kids. If I ain't back in a week, they give half to Sally two trees. You're gonna kill little Bill, ain't you? Stay clear of folks you see. Be a lot of them out to hang you. Get going. Do you even know where? Yeah, he knows where they are. He knows where his house is, to Where his kids are living. He's not gonna get out of this alive, is he? I don't know if they'd be quite surprised if he got out of this alive. This is what happens to recess. Ned. We're gonna divide up into four parties to make a big circle. We're bound to come across somebody who's seen these skunks. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Who's the fella who owns this shit all? Uh, I own this establishment. You better clear out of there. Yes, sir. Hold it! He killed him. Well, sir, you were a cowardly son of a bitch. You just shot an unarmed man. Well, he should have armed himself. He's gonna decorate his saloon with my friend. You'd be William Money out of Missouri. Kill women and children. Kill just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill, for what you did to Ned. He's got one barrel left. When he fires that, take out your pistols and shoot him down like a mangy scoundrel he is. Oh, shit. Misfire. Kill us, bitch. Oh. 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 Did he not even get hit? Any man don't want to get killed, better clear on out the back. There's no way he gets out of his life though, right? I'm shot! I've been shot! You ain't shot. I write. I'm a writer. Letters and such? No, books. You killed five men. Single-handed. Who'd you kill first? Oh no, he's alive. Doesn't he? Oh, oh, oh. All I can tell you is who's gonna be last. Come on, Will, notice him, notice him, please. I don't want him to die. Damn it, damn it. No. I don't deserve this. I was building a house. Deserves got nothing to do with it. I'll see you in hell, William Money. Yeah. Ah. All right, I'm coming out. Any man I see out there, I'm gonna kill him. Any some bitch takes a shot at me, not only gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill his wife. Burn his damn house down. Hey, Charlie Hecker, go ahead, shoot him. Yeah, I ain't no deputy. You better bury Ned right. Better not cut up no otherwise harm no whore. Or I'll come back and kill every one of you sons of bitches. Where it's gonna end? Some years later, Mrs. Ansonia Feathers made an arduous made the arduous journey to Hodgman County to visit the last resting place of her only daughter. William Money had long since disappeared with the children, and some said to San Francisco, where it was rumored he prospered in dry goods. And there was nothing on the marker to explain to Mrs. Feathers why her only daughter had married a known thief and murderer. A man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition. Directed every night. Wow, that was a good film. Who did the music for this? Lenny Niehaus? I know a lot of people. I know a lot of film score composers. I've never heard of Lenny Niehaus. Okay, surprisingly enough, that movie wasn't nearly as violent as I expected it would be, all things considered. Except toward the end there, obviously. Oh man, that was good. I see why that movie won Best Picture. I can't wait. I gotta think about this a little bit. The whole thing with with English Bob, I expected. I kind of thought that that would like that that would like turn into that there would that would be a little bit more of a storyline than it was. I mean, he was kind of just like in there for like a half hour and was just a bit of a nuisance to a uh, bit of a nuisance to a little Bill. And I guess the point of introducing him was as a narrative device was to uh, I'm sorry. The point of introducing him as a character was so that you can show the audience how uh, how much of a hard ass and how badass a uh, little bill is and how much of a threat he is. Okay, you want to change my mind? Yeah, they, that, that was a good point. It was a good uh, good reason to include that character. I kind of wish they did more with him though, just because I like Richard Harris as an actor. I'm really pissed that they freaking killed Ned. Like, fuck you guys. He's an old, he, he, he's a, he's a pretty, he's a pretty old black man, okay? I mean, he didn't, he didn't, he, he didn't he didn't kill anybody. Like, what the hell? You're gonna beat him so much that he's gonna die? Fuck you guys.
the dude, the kid that they were uh, riding around with, the kid who originally approached Will, uh, uh, Will about uh, about killing these two guys. I kind of I suspected from the beginning that he hadn't killed anybody. He was he obviously had prove or something. Killing a man will make him uh, make him into a real man or some kind of shit like that. And then when he found out, when he actually killed someone, and it was just. Horrific. That scene towards the end where he was just sitting uh, sitting under a tree, drinking and crying a little bit. It's good that he's not a monster, but it still sucks that he killed. I take back what I said at the beginning with the uh, the guy who uh, was trying to give her a horse so that uh, as compensation for you know her face getting cut up, the woman's face getting cut up. No, don't do that. Just. Take your whipping or take your execution, dude. You fucking. But is it, hang on, hang, hang on. Uh, just because what happened at the beginning, I gotta rewatch what happened at the beginning. Like, did he actually. Was he actually involved in the attack? Because my memory on that is just a little bit fuzzy. I'm gonna go go, go back and look at that. Maybe he wasn't. But the, 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 the guy with the. With the goatee, uh, he definitely was. What else is there to say? Lenny's with character, Will. He's interesting. He, uh, he, he's an interesting character, I'll, I'll say that much. Like, he is a bad person. Like, they, they established that from the beginning. Like, he has a horrible, dark past. He did a lot of awful things, and they really explained it, like, more towards the end than, you know, he killed women and children. This is a bad man. And I like that they didn't shy away from that. They, they refused to uncomplicate it. And he ultimately survives at the end. And, like, I don't know if we, the audience, are supposed to want him to survive or not. Or, or do we want him to, you know, as they said, get what's coming to him or not and that's just it's an interesting like little tension to uh, put your audience through and I, li I really like that uh what else what else what else the title unforgiven i think it's about uh will not being able to forgive himself for what he did and that he shouldn't forgive himself for what he did i think that's the point i think that's the message that uh they wanted us to come away from this with there, Bria, lover. Yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, please uh, leave a like, uh, comment below, subscribe, you know, all that. This is still a new channel and I'm still trying to grow it. So uh, every little bit helps and I really appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing uh, full length reactions or getting early access to my content and voting on polls and stuff and access to a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, feel free to join my Patreon. I got a link to that in the description below. And uh, as usual, there's more stuff coming soon. So uh, thank you so, so much, and uh, have a good one.